You know, guys, I gotta say it. Chica and Space was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, Freddy and Space 2 kind of fumbled the ball a bit, but they really turned it around with the third one. Yeah, the switch to a new protagonist was a refreshing take. Yeah, I like the climax of that one. I think it was a little cheesy, but the payoff was solid. Well said. I think the first one's still my favorite, but, you know, it's not too bad. Yeah, 2 was just so boring. It felt like nothing happened. Did you guys see they're making a spinoff for it? What's that on? I think they're codenaming it Fury's Rage or something like that. Huh. Hope that one's good. Yeah, me too. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Me too. Guess this isn't a terrible place to set up camp. <sighs> How do you get tired? Aren't you uploaded into my brain? How do you get tired? You're a robot. Fair point. <sighs> hey, pal! Huh? <laughs> Where are you four headed? Yeah, it's awfully late at night to be walking around a place like this. Hey, fellas, uh, we don't want to cause any trouble. Yeah, uh, we're just passing through. You know, it costs 50 bucks per person to stand here. Huh? What the? That's ridiculous. What are you talking about? Does it cost money to stand somewhere? Freddy, they're trying to rob us. Oh. Listen, would you punks scram? I don't want this to get ugly. <laughs> One down! Get him, gang! Chica! Uh, uh, come on! Uh, hell are you freezing up for, Freddy? Fight him! Ah! What's that? Oh, no. uh, Freddy, come on! We're gonna hold our own, but we kinda need you here! What are you waiting for? Uh, uh, Choco! Let her go! The trouble you're causing us might have to upcharge. Oh, shut up! I've got you now! Uh, oh, for crying out loud! Uh, uh, hey, what's going on? I. I. What? Uh, 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 Is that Glamrock Freddy? Yeah, and he's in trouble. I don't know what's going on. Why is he not using his powers? I can't just stand around and let them get robbed. <laughs> Bassie, be careful! <laughs> what the? <laughs> huh? So, is everyone gonna have to get their equal portions? Oh, you're getting it now, Buster! You'll pay for this weird mask guy! Are you? Call me the Stitch Wraith. Whoa! You're getting good at this! Yeah. Thanks, Greg. Wow. We are so lucky that person existed. Freddy, what the hell? Huh? Yeah, Fazbear. Ugh. For being the one with life, color, powers, or whatever the hell they are. Sure ain't very useful. Yeah, that would have been particularly useful. We almost got freaking robbed, and Chica almost got killed. Guys, I, I, I... Guys, lay off him. He seems upset. Thanks, Chica. It's just that... Well... You don't know how to control them, do you? No. Wait, what? How do you not understand how to control them? It's not that. It's just, I don't know how to gauge it. Sure, I can just use my natural strength, but that's no better than you guys. No offense. I'm taken. We're all pretty good fighters, just so are those guys. And I'll use my powers and... It's deadly. As much as those guys were jerks and probably deserve to get incarcerated, I don't think they deserve to die. 
Why do you all think you ended up the way you did during the Glitch Trap War? It wasn't because I wanted to hurt you, it's... It's hard to control it. Especially at that force. Understandable. I can't imagine killing five people would have been exactly great on your conscience. Who is up with those guys anyway? I feel like I've been seeing more of them around here lately. I mean, think about it. A lot of the people that were in the Afton amalgamation, that weird hive mind, they didn't have anywhere else to go after it all ended. Some of them were just made in thin air out of our traumatic experiences. It's weird stuff, but when those people are freed, where do they have to go? They have nothing. Yeah, true. Who was that guy? I don't know. I wish I could have thanked him better. I mean, who knows if it's a guy? Maybe it's a girl. Could be, but whatever it is, certainly saved our butts. They seem so in tune with themselves with their powers. How do they do it? I wonder. Well, I'm tired. Let's keep our tail between our legs and our bodies and our own business and just go home. Yeah, agreed. Oof, stressful day. Yeah. You coming, Freddy? Do you think you guys are gonna get home safe? Yeah, I don't think those guys are gonna come back. Stitch Wraith practically left them screaming for their mommies. <laughs> can tell the others if you don't want to come with us. That'd be appreciated. I think I need to do some soul searching. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Are you gonna be gone all night? Maybe. We'll see. Night, Freddy. I'll see you later. So who was Freddy to you? He was my best friend. When I died, I... I think I broke his heart. Oh, but, but you're alive. Do you think we'll ever be able to let you two see each other again? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, hey. <gasps> Essie! Huh? Hey, stop! Wait, I I'm not trying to scare you. J just come back. I'm not trying to scare you. I just need to ask you something, please. Just, just, just come down, please. I'm, I'm lost, I, and I think you can help me. Lost? What's Freddy lost about? <gasps> oh, sorry. <gasps> oh, are you okay? What happened? <sighs> My mask. Oh, here, here. Take it. I, I won't look. Look, I'm real sorry about this. You can turn around now. Oh, right. Hi, Citraith. Hi. I'm Freddy. Glamrock Freddy. Um, you may know me as the guy that saved the world or whatever. Afton War. I think I've heard your name thrown around here and there. Right. So, uh... What's this whole shtick? Uh, I'm kind of a scavenger. I just help people out where I can in, in the city. I did it once, and it, it felt good, so... Yeah, that's just my shtick. Well, thank you for saving me and my friends. Really. From the bottom of my heart. It, it's, uh... It's what I do. Well, you're dang good at it. It's, um, actually what I was coming to ask you about. You see, I have these powers, right? Yeah. And you seem to have powers too. Yeah. And I know the powers themselves may not be really similar, but you just seem to have such a good grasp and understanding of how to use them when fighting and not overdo it. I've picked up a thing or two in my day, I guess. Yeah, and that kind of knowledge is exactly what I'm looking for. I kind of am having a problem gauging it. Either ends up too weak to really do anything useful, or too strong to, you know, defend myself. And I just end up hurting people way more than I intended. Do you think there's any way I could learn how to gauge it? Um, possibly. I'm not really familiar with what 
powers you have. Uh, well, I'm this world's keeper of color. That's what I was supposed to be anyway. Until uh, that whole thing fell apart. I have the power to change the color of anything and also take the color out of something, which is their life force. I guess it kind of goes hand in hand. Wow. I'm surprised you haven't figured out how to control it. It's really powerful, but I think that almost is sort of the double-edged sword. It's too powerful for even me to understand. Well, I don't really know how much I can help, but I can try my best. Hey, I really appreciate that. Um, anything you need help with? Well, I'm kind of doing some soul-searching on my own. Maybe you could join me, and we could learn something from each other. Yeah. I like that. Oh. You know, Stitch Wraith, you remind me a lot of an old friend I made a promise to. Oh? How so? The little boy I used to know. The kind of sweetest kid I knew. Just tried his best to make people smile and help in any way he could. He sacrificed himself to save my life. And I made a promise to save the world. Make it better. And I'll be honest, I haven't really done a whole lot of that. And, you know, it may be small things, but... I really admire what you're doing. It can't be easy to fight night by night. Common people, sure, but... The numbers start to get tiring, I'm sure. Tell me about it. But, uh, in small ways, I think you're fulfilling the promise that I am supposed to be. I kind of look up to you in that way. Really? Yeah, sure. Hmm. Look, maybe we should get some rest. I don't know where you gotta go, but I'm willing to follow. I want to learn some stuff from you. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I guess we can just rest up here. Night. Night, Freddy. Oh, Freddy. Thank you. <sighs> oh, morning, Roxy. Morning. Freddy come back yet? No. I hope he's okay. Yeah, me too. Where's Chica at? Didn't she talk to him last? Uh, I think she's still asleep. Huh. Dang. Well, I'm sure he'll be alright. Listen, if anyone's gonna defend themselves, it's Freddy. Yeah. The stuff he said last night about not being able to control his powers. I feel like it eats at him a little bit. Yeah. I've been knowing him for a while. I feel like he feels worse about things that he can't control. I know we were all under glitch trap, but something about Freddy just worries me, you know? Do you think he's becoming a little too obsessed with this whole self-guidance quest thing? What do you mean? I just feel like he's searching for a destiny that doesn't exist. Like he owes the world something, but I don't know. I'm just noticing a mood shift in him. Yeah, it's like the work isn't finished. What do you mean? Like, we never really got rid of Glitchtrap. Something's still lurking in the shadows, and it's really bothering Freddy. <laughs> well, aren't I on cue? So, Freddy's absent. This is perfect. <laughs> Four poor, powerless, defenseless Glamrocks. Damage control is not going to save them this time. <sighs> He's going to be so proud of me. Not that I need his approval or anything, but it's nice to be appreciated every once in a while for all the hard work I put in. <sighs> Morning, guys. <gasps> Light bulb flicker or something? How I do love the shadows. The security they give me is intoxicating. Still no sign of Freddy, huh? Nope. <clears throat> hey, what's up? 
You seem tense. <laughs> tense, yeah, right. I can see what you're holding back there, you know. Well, I can't see what it is, but I know there's definitely something back there. Yeah, and what of it? Oh. A heart pendant. Yeah. I was trying to make a new one. If you're so inclined to answer, I gotta ask what for. Well, it's what gave me access to my remnant before. It was a reservoir, so to speak. I can store some internally, as any energy supply is, but this can store way more. It's like a battery for a battery, so to speak. Seeing what the Mimic was able to do with my DNA, and seemingly the remnant-like powers that Claremont Freddy has, it gave me a sense of envy, I guess. And some inspiration. So I've been building this in my spare time. Yeah, that was pretty scary. I don't think I've ever had that much remnant before. I wasn't sure I was even capable of something like that. It's a little off-putting, to say the least. But I've had this stuff in my veins since I was a kid, so I imagine I can handle it better than he can. How were you when you were a kid? I never really had a childhood. I'm a being that's existed for hundreds of thousands of years, along with the sun and the moon. You know, we all work codependent of each other. Though I guess logic states that sunrise should be older than both me and Moondrop. I'd technically be the youngest. I wonder if there's an earth drop. <sighs> I don't know. I've just had it around my neck ever since I was born. I don't really remember how I was born. Well, that's interesting. Hey, that makes two of us. <laughs> I'm ugly. Huh? I, I mean, I don't think so. You're like the model picturesque of like a pretty mannequin. I don't really think you're ugly. I mean, on the inside. Is that... Is that the thing the Mimic turned into? Is that... What I am? In here? <sighs> you got me. Look, I'm not really great with this whole emotion thing. Inside of maybe like anger, I guess. But, uh... I don't know. Seemed fine to me. Granted, maybe the lack of remnant hasn't shown your ugly half. Perhaps. Are you going soft? Shut up! Just thinking, I guess. I don't know. You just go so long with something, and then all of a sudden it's just ripped away from you. It's like... It's like I'm a new person. I just don't even know who the hell I am anymore. Ugh, ew, stop that. No, shut up! Heard too much of Moondrop's whining while I was in his head to... Tandy, you're freaking crying. You think I love the situation I'm in? Usually I just show up once every 10,000 years, cause some chaos, take no names, make no enemies, go back up and I let that stew. This is the longest I've ever been on this mortal plane and it, it sucks. I'm free of that Moondrop's insolent whining, but... <sighs> to deal with all these... Idiots! Way to make it all about you, asshole. I'm not done. Nightmare gives me shit all the time. He's like always trying to one-up me or something. Maybe it's because we both come from godlike thoughts. The Mimic whips us all like we're his slaves. We're practically all mule packs to him. They're the worst kind of people. The people I can't tolerate. Because they constantly try and belittle me. Try and make me act like I'm small. My heart yearns for my power so I can stare them blank in the eyes and burn them away until they're nothing more than a memory. Yeah. And? Notice how your name's not in that list. What? You may be an ass and bigger with me, but at least I feel like I'm on your level to a degree. We're stuck in a similar boat. You're probably the best person I've ever met. Granted, that bar is in the bottom depths of hell, but... You're alright. Between you and me, if you're ugly, this world's doomed. Oh. Um, thanks, Eclipse. Don't mention it. Ever. To anyone. Just another reason for them to get on my ass. Right on. Fucking cue. I know something you two don't know. Oh, that's great. I'd love to hear it. Well, if you must know. <sighs> I'm so tired. So bored. <laughs> Oh my god! Wake up! 
a certain Glamrock Freddy Fazbear has been absent for the last 12 hours. And counting. Wait, he's missing? Someone's snooping around the Glamrock's place, and supposedly Freddy's on some kind of soul-searching mission. So he'll probably be gone for a while, which means... It's the perfect time to strike. Huh? <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> Good to know you've been busy. You're a good, good messenger boy nightmare. Don't like the way you're saying that with that voice. When'd you copy her bio data? Oh, well, it's very easy to get around when you can be just about anybody. One alias to another, you end up picking up a few... Hundred options or so. It's been interesting learning the ins and outs of these people. I even learned a lot about you, Nightmare. Not that I already didn't know a lot. Check this one out. This one's my favorite. She's gotten a little too comfortable, to say the least. I don't know much about this Cassidy character, but... I think she has a long, dark history with this place. God, you're really packing the numbers together, huh? As much as I need to. So you said Freddy's on some kind of soul-searching mission, huh? Yes. I'm not sure of the details of it, but does that really matter? No. It doesn't. I applaud you for your efforts, Nightmare. You've been very valuable. And now I get to use my favorite pastime. To teach someone a lesson. As you all know, I love learning. I'll learn anything I can. It's all about how you pay attention. Taking everything you see and hear, like can spread beauty. And these glam rocks, these fools, they're gonna learn good what I can teach them. So, are we ready? Uh, that face is burned in my brain. Sorry if this stings. It's going to for a while. I want you all to surround the perimeter. Hide in the shadows. <laughs> They're gonna learn, all right. They're gonna learn what I'm capable of. Hmm. He seems pretty confident. A little too confident. 